In this exercise, we're going to be creating the Gradebook web module. A few objectives from this exercise are we're going to create a Liferay MVC portlet module. We're going to declare its dependencies, set the portlet properties, set the portlet name, do a final code review, deploy the module, and finally test the module. And as you can see, those are largely the steps we're going to take. Creating that Liferay MVC portlet module, declaring our dependencies, setting our portlet properties, setting the portlet name, doing a final code review, deploying the module, and testing the module. As you can see, I have Liferay Developer Studio open and our gradebook workspace loaded up. Over the next few exercises, we will create the user interface for our gradebook application. We're going to be using coding conventions and patterns recommended for Liferay development, leveraging libraries, components, and high-level superclasses to remove the need for boilerplate coding. We're going to use the Liferay MVC portlet as a portlet component. The portlet lifecycle and communication between the portlet backend and user interface will be handled by MVC command components. The user interface will be implemented with JSP technology. And we're going to be using Liferay tag libraries, which both minimize the need for HTML coding and guarantee a Twitter bootstrap based responsive layout. So we're going to start things off by launching our Liferay module project wizard. And we're going to create a new Liferay module project. For the project name, we're going to type gradebook dash web. We're going to make sure our project template name is an MVC portlet. We're going to click next. For our component class name, we're going to type gradebook. Finally, for our package name, we're going to type com.liferay.training.gradebook web. We're going to click finish. And we'll give Dev Studio a moment to go ahead and build that web module for us. And there you can see we now have a gradebook dash web module. Next, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the gradebook webs build.gradle file. And we're going to implement some new dependencies, uh, which you should be able to find in your instructions. Save the file. Now something to keep in mind, we're going to have the following requirements for our portlet. We don't want the gradebook portlet to be instanceable, as its data needs to be scoped under a site. And we'd like the gradebook portlet to appear in the Liferay training widgets category instead of the sample category. So let's go ahead and change the portlet component properties to match these requirements. So. We're going to go ahead and open up the gradebook portlet class. And we're going to implement the following changes to the component properties. We're going to take com.liferay.portlet.instanceable equals true. And we're going to change that value into false. And in com.liferay.portlet.display-category equals category.sample, we're going to go ahead and change that to training. Save our changes. And it's a good practice to use a fully qualified name of the portlet class as the portlet identifier. We'll also have to update the name in our resource bundle, but we'll discuss localization in the next module. So now what we're going to do 
So we're going to open our gradebook portlet keys class. And we're going to update the portlet name constant, which is right here. And what we're going to do is between web and gradebook portlet, we're going to add portlet. Save our changes. Next, we're going to open up our language.properties file, which can be found in the content folder under source main resources. And we're going to add some contents, which again, you should be able to find in your exercise steps. Save our changes. Now we're going to do our final code review. So we'll go ahead and check all the files we changed. Our build.gradle file, which should look like this. Our gradebook portlet.java. Make sure it matches up with what you see in the exercise instructions. Our gradebook portlet keys, and our language.properties. Once you're confident that those all match up, uh, make sure that your server is started, and you can go ahead and deploy that gradebook uh, web module. Take a minute to let that publish to our gradebook workspace. And you can see our web module is now started and synchronized. So at this point, go ahead and open up localhost 8080 in a browser, and we'll go ahead and test out our web module. So as you can see, I have opened up our localhost 8080, and I've signed in as my administrative user. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and click on the edit icon. And we're going to click on widgets. And you can see under category.training, we have our gradebook application. However, if I try and drag and drop onto the page at this point, you can see it's not going to let me do so. Uh, this is because our home page is a content page. So what I need to do first is I need to give that application somewhere to exist in. So we're going to go back to fragments. And I am going to drag and drop a container right beneath our welcome banner. And now, when I place our gradebook application, you can see that it populates that container. Our welcome message, hello from gradebook, is currently displaying. And we'll go ahead and click publish. And there we have it. In the next exercise, we'll go ahead and implement a method of viewing assignments in our gradebook application. Mm -hmm.